Hello my lovelies! So um, today we are doing a request. Um, Seraphim Kiss sent, sent in a picture by, uh, oh no I forget what it is, Giraffe Photography, Drama Photography, I'm not sure. I'll put a link down here, <laughs> but uh, it's, you know, something from DeviantArt. Um, and uh, she really wanted to know how to accomplish the braid in this picture, which I should put here. Um, yeah. Okay, um, you like my self-editing techniques. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she really wanted to figure out how to kind of do that poofy rope braid um, with longer heavy hair. And originally I was just going to do the braid, but I do really like the hairstyle and I think it's so pretty. Um, and the holidays are coming up and I know a lot of you gals get to go fancy places. Um, so, I figured we'll try it. Okay, I've thought about it a lot, and I think there are, I have a plan, and I have a backup plan, just in case the first plan doesn't work out. So today is one of the tutorials where I sort of wing it. Um, as in, I know what I want it to do, and I'm pretty sure I can do it, but just in case I do have a backup plan. But let's try the first way first. All right, um, tangle teaser. Uh, detangle. As per the huge detangle. Um, this, we're, we're gonna approach this as a half up with a ponytail kind of deal. Um, the backup plan is to use a sock bun form, but I so don't wanna have to go into that if we don't have to, so we're going to try not to. So for our half up, uh, we are going to do JJJ's pretzel bun and then some tucking. Uh, all right, the very first thing we need to do is part, and I'm parting on the opposite side because this isn't gonna look exactly like the picture because I'm almost 100% sure there are hair pieces and some teasing happening, um, which, you know, I don't do either of those things, but I still would like it to look close so you want to separate out front sections on both sides. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, right, right behind where your ear connects to your head should do us pretty well. Oh, that's a lot. Oh well, let's give it a go. Separate this out and clip it. Alligator clips don't really hold much of my hair, but they're perfect for styling purposes. Okay, now we don't want all of it. We just want above our ears. Um, gosh, I did take a big chunk on this side. Let's see. Let's say about this far up on both sides. Um, I know I have a hair that's I have clipped off. Pull that out. Okay, this section. We are going to make a pretzel bun. And you want to bring it up to the top of your head um, if you can. Okay, so left hand, you want to go up and around. Um, and then we're going to wrap. And since this is a half up, usually I only do two wraps, but I'm probably going to have to do that's two, three, yeah, three today. Um, the nice thing about the pretzel bun is you guys do as many wraps as you need, or as few wraps as you need. All right, so we've kind of got the bun thing happening. I'm gonna have to twirl and finagle because I need, I need the hair to come out of the front. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pin this in place with some my giant knitting needle U pins. Um, I'm gonna need two since it's so small. Cool. All right. Now I'm gonna unhook this. What we need to do is kind of get a little floof happening. Like so. Look at that. Oh, you just kind of. Shove and floof it over. Of course, you see we have some tail. So what we're going to do with that tail, well, I 
actually we could probably just leave it, but we want a pin. So bobby pins, and we're going to pin an X pattern. Get a right size. I'm using the big ones for myself. So X. from the front. Let's see, make sure. Oh, I can see a little. There. We just got to kind of readjust our, our poof a bit. Okie dokie. Next section. Huh. What do we do next? Well, let's take the left side and bring it around like so and we're going to pin I'm just going to pin it straight up hopefully straight up over the other pins like so and now for this big part in the front. I told you, it's winging it day. Yay. <laughs> All right. So we kind of got a swoop de doop happening. Sort of, sort of deal. I want it to swoop romantically if I can. I don't know if I can. Sometimes my hair is not very romantic. Um, <laughs> it seems like it would be more so, but I think that'll work. All right, more pins. And since this is quite the hunk of hair, we're going to have to X pattern these pins. Like so. It looks okay thus far from the front anyway. How's it look in the back? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, we're getting there. Okay, oh, here we go. Uh -huh. All right, now for the braid, um, which was the one thing I actually knew how to do. So, you're gonna pull your hair in a pony for, you know, lack of a better thing. Um, I actually think we're gonna put it in a ponytail. I have a ponytail holder. Um, technically, you do not have to, but I'm going to just because it's going to make it a little easier on us in the long run. Um, as always, try to find ponytail holders that match your hair. Um, it just makes for neater hairstyles in the long run. I think it's my preference. But if you'd rather have contrasting, then, you know, by all means. Um, let me make sure that's relatively centered. Oh, it doesn't look bad. I might end up putting a flower or something in this just to cover up some of the works. Okay. But now we're going to do the braid. So to get that poofy rope braid action, um, you need to take a very very tiny section um, about this much and we are going to twist it towards our face and then we're going to take all the rest of it and twist it towards our face it is the second section now as you can I need to smooth um, as you can probably guess this does mean that our tiny section is going to run out way faster than our large section but that's fine it's supposed to um, because we're going to have to pull this braid up to get the poof. So now that we have both towards our face, wrap them around each other, away from our face, um, like so. Okay. All right. Um, and you just want to braid it down 
till you run out of your small section of hair. Um, as you can see, it's already a little fluffy. Maybe you can't, there you can. Um, it's a little fluffy, but we're gonna, we're gonna finagle it and fix that. Um, yep, yep, okay. Almost to the end of my small section. Okie dokie, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie it off with another ponytail holder. Um, not a clear one this time, just because we're gonna have to tug on it a bit, and the clear one would be more likely to break. So, all right. Now, go ahead and hold on to your little section, even though it's ponytailed, um, and you wanna pull up Get your finger under there. You want to pull up on the larger section till it's about the same length as your small section. And then you're going to pull it again. Leave a little. Pull it again. Back up for you guys. Pull it again. And again. Basically, you're kind of just, you're wanting to fluff this braid up a bit. And again, now I need the mirror. <laughs> and again, Oof. okay. We've got we've got a decent amount of fluff happening. Um, I'm going to tighten the bottom up so our braid will hold down here. That should be tight enough. I still have a little. You can go back and add and, you know, yank again as you go up. Now that we have some floofage, floofage, uh, kind of just pull it out like so. Um, and there you have it. Um, kind of a unicorn braid slightly deconstructed uh, yeah oh I feel like I'm lopsided for some reason I need a pin here flowers. We need flowers. I'll be back right. in just a sec. So instead of flowers, I thought butterflies would work better since I am actually wearing um, jeans today. So I just added a couple to kind of cover up the works a little bit and make it look a little more romantic. Um, if you're having problems with the floof not looking straight, you can kind of pull and readjust. That's better. Readjust a little bit. And if you would like a little more droop on the side, just kind of give it a little bit of a pull. You don't want to like yank it out, um, but a little bit will do wonders. So um, there is the, hopefully I can back up enough. Uh, there is our finished style. Very romantic. Um, pretty. It's not exactly. Um, the sock bun might have worked better, but this way we have less stuff going on in our hair. Uh, but I think, I think it looks all right. You guys, yeah? I think it looks all right. Um, but anyways, you know how to floof the braid out now. Land of mine wants to floof down there more so than the top. Yeah. There we go. So that is how you do this funky braid on long hair and then we just did went ahead and did the whole style because why not? Because um, I was gone for a while and I missed you guys. So um, any hoodles, I hope everybody has a great day and let me know if this worked for you. Um, and maybe we'll try it the other way. Okay, maybe I will try it the other way sometime and see if it works better. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Um, until next time, everybody have a great day. Alrighty. Bye my lovelies. Alrighty, so bonus hairstyle time. 
Um, I was just taking the pictures to put at the front of the video. Um, and I had an idea. So let's see if my brain works. I gotta get my butterflies out first though. Uh -uh. I like the way the back of this looks. Quite a bit, actually. Where is the thing? Um, however, oh my gosh, there it is. Um, I like the way the back of this looks, but I'm not super duper fond of the braid just because, you know, I hate looseness all around. Um, I'm odd. I know I'm odd. That's okay. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it's not like my favorite uh, braid ever. Um, so I'm going to do a straight rope Yada -da -da. real quick. Um, and then we're going to pin it up because I think it'll be really pretty. I don't know. Okay. So let me rope braid this real quick and then we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Give me a sec. I switched it to a regular rope braid, um, which is already an improvement for me. Huh. Um, but I want to pin it and I want to pin it like right there. So, um, oh, of course I have this, which I don't want. I wonder if I can get it down my rope braid. Oh, look at that. Um, go me. Uh, granted, I got a loose bit at the top now, but we'll just twist. And now I can make a bun without having that, um, hair tie there. All right, let's see. I want it to bun over here. Is that a pin now? Oh my goodness, there are a lot of bobbies in there. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it might look pretty with the rose bun. We'll see. It might not. This might not even make the vid. I don't know yet. But I thought it was worth a try, so we're trying it, because I wanted to. Alright, it's up. Let's look. <laughs> oh, no, see, that's kind of cute. It's a little different. There's a lot of puffy stuff happening, but it is kind of cute, and that way it's up. Um, I don't know. Experimentation. I also do this up here. Pin that back. I don't know how I feel about that though. Oh well, we'll leave that. I can be romantical, but we're gonna add our butterflies back because I like adornments. Um these butterflies at Michael's. Uh, most craft stores. Hobby Lobby, Michael's, uh, whatever else there is. I don't know. That's what I have. Um, has these butterflies and things. Um, but there. Now it's a full up do. And it's fairly well balanced all around. I don't know. It's one of those that's really pretty from the back and I'm not sure how I feel about it in the front. Um, but anyways. Okay. Okay, bonus hairstyle, woohoo! Okay, now, for reals, uh, later. Love you guys, have a great day.